hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is patience so today we are going to be making this beautiful three colors short two layered skirt with an elastic band so before we get started kindly click the subscribe button if you have done that let's get into it I'll be using this doll face satin fabric as the lining and it is one yard and I'll be using these three colors of two and they are five five yards each that is 15 yards now this is an elastic waist skirt so I'll be attaching an elastic band on the waist to give the waist its shape so I'll add extra inches on the waist so the waist circumference I'm working with is 36 inches. Now I'll add extra 4 inches, that is 40 inches. So I'll mark quarter of 40 inches, that is 10 inches, and I'll add half inch for side seam allowance. After doing that, I'm going to mark the waist to hip point, which is 9 inches. And I'll mark the full length of the skirt, which is 22 inches inches but on the lining i'm going to mark 20 inches and i'll add one inch for hemming along so that is 21 inches After doing that on the hip line i am going to mark the hip circumference i'm working with which is 11 inches and i'll add extra one and a half inches for ease that is 12 and a half inches and i'll mark half inch for side seam allowance now on the hemline i'll add extra two and a half inches on the hip circumference that is 13 and a half inches and i'll add half inch for side seam allowance and i'll cut it out so i forgot to add half inch on the waist for joining allowance so i'm going to add it here i'm going to use this as a pattern to cut out the back piece and as you can see i cut it out exactly because the back is not going to have a zipper allowance since it's an elastic waist skirt so i'm going to place good sides this way and I will sew on the half inch for side seam allowance and after doing that I will hem I've done that I've joined the side seam and I have also hemmed the skirt and as you can see this is 20 inches it's bigger than the waist circumference so the elastic band is going to give the waist its shape after doing that i am going to mark the guidelines for my tool so i want my tool to be longer than the lining with about two inches so i am going to mark 17 inches from the waist it is about five and a half inches so i'm going to mark the five and a half inches round and i am going to attach the third layer of two on this guideline so the length of this tool is 60 inches and i am going to cut out three pieces of the 17 inches and this is going to be the first layer and it is five yards of two i have done that and this is one two and three so the next thing i'm going to do is to gather this so i'll use the longest stitch on my sewing machine to sew on half inch all through the five yards and I will gather it and I'll make sure it is up to the width of the skirt and I'll add extra one inch for joining allowance so this is 23 inches 
by two is 46 inches so i'll make sure i gather it up to 46 inches and extra one inch for joining allowance now i am going to trim it this way After doing that, I am going to attach it on the guideline. I will sew on half inch round. And when I get to this edge, I will place good sides this way and sew on the half inch. I've done that now if you want it to come out really full you can use about 10 yards of two so for the second layer from the waist I am going to mark three inches round for the guideline so I've gone ahead to cut out the second layer and this is 13 inches length and I cut out four pieces joined and gather it and I am going to do the same thing on the second layer I've done that now I am going to cut out the first layer of two so from half inch starting from the waist I am going to cut out 10 inches length of two I cut out five pieces of two now I am going to use the longest stitch on my sewing machine to sew on half inch all through the five yards and I will gather it I've done that and I am going to do the same thing so I'll place it this way on the half inch and I'm going to sew and turn it over and I'll also join by half inch I've done that and this is how beautiful it came out after doing that the next thing I'm going to do is to attach the band so I've gone ahead to cut it out and this is one and a half inches so the elastic band is about one inch so I'll use the half inch to join to the skirt so the band is 41 inches so I'm going to place good sides this way and sew by half inch and I'm going to join it by the half inch I've done that and I left this opening for my elastic so using a safety pin I am going to pass my elastic band through this way after doing that I will join the elastic band and sew the opening so this is how beautiful it came out The next thing I'm going to do is from the folded edge, I'll sew by half inch round. I'll expand this way and sew by the half inch. This is to keep the elastic band in place. I've done that and it came out really beautiful as you can see. So we have come to the end of this tutorial and if this was helpful, kindly give this video a thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be updated when i upload a new video thank you guys for watching bye